And you asked me to talk about Thomas Sankara, perhaps the younger generation think that the Osage F4 is too remote in history. The man in whose honor we are assembled here today, Kennedy, only reads about the Osage for Kwame Nkrumah in history books. But Thomas Sankara lived when you are alive. He was here in Burkina Faso in 1983. He was a military man just as you are. He participated in a process that eliminated a neo-colonial regime. The country was then known as Upper Volta. He said, why are we called Upper Volta? He changed the name into Burkina Faso, the land of the upright man. And he said that the people of Burkina Faso would be called the Bukinabe, the upright man. He came at a time when Burkina Faso could not feed ourselves. And he said that we can feed ourselves. He said that we can produce enough food to export. He said that we shall no longer be controlled from Paris, France. They took him out in 1987. And as I speak now, a trial is going on in Ouagadougou. People who are alleged to have taken him out courtesy of the colonial power, France. The spirit of Thomas Sankara is the spirit that we need now so that Africa can recognize ourselves, so that Africans can realize that we have the ability to do things for ourselves. How I feel that if Thomas Sankara was here, perhaps working jointly with others, this continent would now have a vaccine of our own. We are going through a pandemic, but I'm quite certain that the Basutu, like all Africans, are waiting for the British to give them AstraZeneca. You are waiting for the Americans to donate to you Moderna or Johnson & Johnson. You are waiting for the Russians to give you Sputnik. And you are waiting for the Chinese to give you Sinovac. For how long will Africa be begging? And you tell me you are independent? Oh, Makame says that it is dependent independence. And when you are independent and you are dependent, I'll not answer the question, just tell me, are you independent? That is what Thomas Sankara was talking about. 